Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mods Installed. I'm your host, Cause Fate. It's episode 47. We're in Breeze Home with Annika Craig Jumpa. I've made the decision to uninstall the Better Vampires mod altogether. We're gonna go with the default vampire playthrough, vanilla playthrough. And I've also reinstalled Gopher's Predator Vision and made some and adjusted it so it looks like this. So that with one button I can disable my ENB and turn Predator Vision on. But the more important thing is we're ready to duel enchant some stuff. So I went in and I made three potions of enchanting. And they are here. Items enchanted are 29% stronger. So I have a little chart here that shows all the different pieces of armor that I can enchant. Now there's a couple more pieces because... I have mods like immersive armors you don't have as many of these pieces in the vanilla game but it doesn't matter you really only need three to four and then extra stuff um, what i have is a circlet earring mask necklace ring hood chest hands and feet three of these pieces are for sure going to be used to dual enchant construction and destruction so it should get me to zero casting, and if they don't, then we'll enchant a fourth piece. Everything else is pretty much going to get two-handed in armor. Now, the chest piece can really only do destruction and conjuration, and same thing with the hood, and same thing with the circlet. So those are the pieces we're going to start with first. So let's go. We're going to do fortify enchanting, 29% stronger. We're going to go down here, and we're going to try to do this as quickly as possible to make use of that. Up there, we're going to grab the black star first. We're going to grab this circlet first. We're going to do fortify conjuration. We're going to name it this. I'm going to change the names on all this stuff and do battle mage. And that, that of course, that since it's a B, it's going to do that. Battle mage. Now I'm going to do the hood, which plate hood, a black soul gem. Same thing, conjuration, destruction, F. Battle mage. That they're 32%. And then if can I get the cuirass in here before it goes bad? Destruction and conjuration. Nope, I can't. So I gotta exit out. So go back here and drink this next one. 29% stronger. Alright, I'm gonna grab the the cuirass. A grand soul gem. Conjuration, Destruction, F. And then I'm also going to do a ring. Same thing. Silver ring. Grand, grand Soul Gem. Conjuration, Destruction, F. Alright. So let's see how this worked out with the numbers. If I go up here to Battle Mage and I put on the circlet. And the cuirass and the witchblade hood. Let's take a look at how it affected our spells. Conjuration. Everything costs like one or two. So if I want everything to be free, then I need to wear that ring as well. So if I go to the ring and I put the Battle Mage Magic Silver Ring on, then everything is zero. So we may end up using the magic ring, we may not. Now the rest of this, that gives us that gives us the chest piece, the hood. And circlet and that leaves us with the rest of this sorry I'm charting all this over here this leaves us with the rest of us to do what we want so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna drink another one of these potions the last one I have for the really powerful stuff and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna use this on the greaves with a grand soul gem and this is interesting we're gonna do fortify two-handed and stamina regeneration Because I'm a vampire right now and I need that. And then we're going to go do the gauntlets. Same thing. Grand Soul Gem. We're going to do two-handed and heavy armor. And that gets us that. Now that's the end of that. So I can go back in here and I can wear this. So that's that stuff. Now what I need is I need a mask. Which I don't think I have. I might have one in here have a, a tribal mask silver that's what I want right there all right so I have a little I have a little weaker um, 
I don't have as strong a potions as I want for enchanting, but that's okay because now we're not worrying about destruction and conjuration. It's just the two-handed stuff, so we're just going to use up what we have. I'm going to go down here into fortify, enchanting. This is 15% strong. These aren't great. I made all the potions that I could use. So we're going to grab that tribal mask silver. We're going to grab another grand soul gem. We're going to do fortify two-handed. And I'm going to say... Um, <clears throat> Heavy armor, I guess. Magic or region. I don't need that. I'm gonna do this. And then same thing, grand soul gem, and I'm gonna grab a, a necklace. Again, fortify two-handed and heavy armor. And attacks 40%. That's still really nice. So I go up here. Since they're all numbered, I can go this. I mean, since they're all labeled the same. There's the ring. Now, what's my last piece that I got? Oh, yeah, an earring. Do I have an earring? Yep, I do gold earrings. All right, it's the same thing. This is, a, this is an item that you don't get unless you're using a of armors. So some people might say, oh, that's cheating because you're using a using an item that doesn't exist and I can understand that. Fortify two-handed, fortify heavy armor. That gets me the gold earrings. And battle mage gold earrings. And then if I really want to, here I'm gonna do one more ring. Do one more ring. Silver amethyst ring. Grand Soul Gem, Fortified, Two-Handed and Heavy Armor, and I'm going to call this Warrior, if I can spell it. This is the Warrior Ring, because it's... So if you go here and you put the Battle Mage Warrior Ring on instead of the Battle Mage Magic Silver Ring, then our magic costs are not quite completely free, but we get more two-handed. All right, so that's it. That's all the stuff. We are fully battle mage capable now. Like this is as good as it gets. This is awesome. Um, a little better alchemy and a little better alchemy <coughs> stuff, microsis stuff here. This is 27% damage. I mean, 27% better, 27. And then it falls off here at these bracers and the switch plate hood. If I can ever make these better, then I should be able to make it so there's only three pieces of gear I need. And all my destruction and conjuration will be free. But for right now, this is good enough. In fact, I'm going to bring that and that along with me for later. And then uh, stuff to sell. But we're pretty much done. And now all I have to do is go improve. So let's take a look at what we have for potions. Potions of uh, smithing, 88% better. That's perfect, let's go do this. Let's go smith all these things better. So I come down here and I say, potion of smithing. And I can improve my battle mage stuff. Epic, it says. That's nice. Epic. And I made a level. How awesome is that? This is great because right up here. We're going to go up to level, level up. Enchanting, I'm going to choose health. Go to enchanting. What is this? Storm enchanter. Storm enchantments on weapons and armor are 25% stronger. Which is perfect because we're going to do this next. Malakath's cleaver. Uh, I need to see. Let's go see what type of. 
Let's go see what type of uh, thing is required to make that better. Malakas Cleaver requires an ebony ingot. Okay, we'll fix that. Because ebony ingots we have. And then I need to get rid of all the stuff that I wasn't wearing. That I'm no longer wearing because it's heavy for no reason. Process stuff, steel plate, blah 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 blah. This. So here's this, which plate destruction caress, epic. These things are all gone. Just want to hang on to that hood. Witcher destruction ring. I could sell all these things. Um, in the cupboard, I wanted the ebony ingot. I only need the one. All right, so we're gonna do this. Chanting. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel placement. Get on the floor there, buddy. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. Right there. Alright, let's enchant this with the best fortify enchantment spell we have. The last one. Malakath's Cleaver, a grand soul gem, and we're going to put absorb health and shock damage on it. There we go. That is awesome. Oh, that is so badass. Pick that up. We're going to go outside and we're going to improve it. And then we're going to go adventuring because why not? Adriana Avenitti. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Ridge. Potion of Fortify. Smithing. We got one left. Malakath's Cleaver. Oh, look at that. That is just... So, that is awesome. So that's our main weapon now. Go into weapons. We'll say Malakath's Cleaver. We'll make it that. We no longer need the Thunderstruck. Although I can give that away. I'm going to take that and uh, put it, charge it up. I might give it to a, a companion here. So in slot one, Malakath's Cleaver. Hey, Annika. Guess what? I got something for you. Still here. What do you want me to carry? I want to give you this. Thunderstruck, and I'm gonna take the uh, Orcish Battle Max for me. Lead on. All right. So now it's just a matter of figuring out what we want to do. Um, let's go look at. Oh, got an idea. I may need to feed before we go adventure. All of uh, Feeble's house. I think she's asleep. We can only help, huh? You're not supposed to be here. Aren't you supposed to be asleep? <sighs> I'm not going to warn you again. Get out or I'll call the Dang it, it's like midnight. When is hmm, how do I find some sleeping people? That's one of the things I remember, but it's always a little hard to find sleeping people. Alright, let's take a look at Oh yeah, we have to go talk to uh, Marcellus. Let's go do that. It's eleven o'clock at night, and you guys are still wandering around. I my father in more ways than people... Do any of you people go to sleep? I'm a vampire. I need to feed. Well, let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around yeah, here somewhere. I want to feed on some people. Security in White Run is terrible. Shameful. Can't a man drink in peace? He can, but Maven said. I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. Perfect. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabyarn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? 
I know what you mean. Show me what I gotta do. You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Not now. I'm working. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone is like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. All right. Remember, Sabjorn will be needing a help. Make it like this. Oh well. Man, does anybody ever sleep around here? Guess not. This, this kid's up and it's 11.28 at night. Come on. I'm gonna wait for an hour. I wanna see what happens. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. I'd be dead if not for Vignar. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. Am I? When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. I had a bad time a few years ago. None of you guys are going to go to sleep, right? Vignar. Hmm. He wouldn't let me stay weak. Are people going to leave? Everybody's getting up and moving around. Some people. They're leaving. They're leaving. Nobody else is doing anything. You guys are just gonna hang out here all night, aren't you? You yeah, ding dongs. You're the best. Can you be my father? Yeah, well. Come by Bellator's maybe. shop tomorrow. I'm sure we've got something. Divine smile on you, friend. You think she's asleep now? Feebles. Perfect. Feed. Supposed to be an animation on this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well. Uh, am I already considered stage zero or something? Champion of the night. Look at all those fortified two handed. Night Stalker's footsteps in pirates. Hmm, maybe I'm just already at stage zero and it doesn't matter. We're gonna go find out. We'll see what happens. Maybe that better vampires has been uninstalled. I need to do something. We'll figure it out, I guess. Alright, let's roll. Let's go find. Let's go handle Maven Blackburn stuff. Let's see what this looks like. See, it's too blue. Now, what I don't know is I haven't used a I haven't used a BSA unpacker to look and see if that's caused by some kind of uh, graphic that can be changed or what. But... Hmm? Take a look. I'm gonna sell him stuff, but first I'm gonna buy any grand soul gems he has. Actually, any soul gems he has for just replacing stuff. Let's see, what do I have? Orcish Battle Action. Yeah, that staff of fireballs, I really don't think I'm gonna need that. I'm just gonna sell it. Cultist Robes. Gold Jeweled Necklace. Sell that. That's my Krosis stuff, I'm gonna hang on to that. Noble. Wolf skin cloak. Get rid of that. Scaled armor of your health. Get rid of that. Yell helm. These rings. Those are all those things that I enchanted to get up to a hundred. Simple bear skin cloak. Ooh, I should give that to what's her name? 
traveling with me. Thieves, guild armor. Oh, I'm running out of stuff here. Vokun. Witcher travel mask. Okay, all this stuff is too expensive. Well, I'm still going to sell it. You know what? I'm going to sell it. Thieves guild junk. Gloves. May your road lead you to Are you, you're not wearing it. Yes. We are fortunate. I got something else for you then. What do you want me to carry? I got a cloak for you. I didn't realize I was carrying it, so you can have this simple bare skin cloak, brown of resist frost. Look at that. Lead on. Aren't you the hunter type? I feel pity for these lords. Alright, let's go find out. Let's go do this whole haunting brew meter thing. Yeah, and I know somewhere along the way someone is saying. Well, let's see. Um, flame throw. Where is this? Where is this fool? Oh, he's up there. Doing up there. He's gonna come over here? I guess not. It's fun to see dragons like that. They don't always come down and engage you. It's pretty neat. I know someone in this episode is going to say, no, you shouldn't uninstall mods. Yeah, well, you know. Thing is, when they start to behave a little brokenly like better vampires, I feel like you're just better off uninstalling them. People act like it's the biggest deal to uninstall it and it's going to ruin your game. Well, honestly, it's already crashed a couple of times in 47 episodes, so. You know, it's not like it's really that much less stable <laughs> if you uninstall a mod with scripts. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? It does look like it. Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you just do it out of the kindness of your heart. Well, payment's you? always good. I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Well, that's not how I operate, <laughs> so forget it. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. <laughs> Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. Perfect. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. All right. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Off we go. To deal with the situation. Hey, look. Like the sounds of that. Hey, traps. Traps, trolls, and trogger. What's this look like? Hey, you can make this less blue. This is what's interesting. Okay, let's do this. Let's try this real quick. Try to make that a little less blue. You can go into system mod configuration, predator vision, and under predator vision brightness, you can reduce this. Let's try like 20. The, you might think that, that reducing the predator vision color boost would do it. No, that doesn't make it less blue, amazingly. There we go. That's a little better. I like this. Alright. Come here, boys and girls. What do you got for me? I'm gonna do 
this. Flames. Bite on me, but there we go. There we go. I go on that. We gotta worry about this chump up here. I like this. This see predator vision. This is this is why I actually like being a vampire. And this is a hundred times better than dealing with the mess ups with the better vampires. Yeah, maybe. these shrooms. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. We can't get to all of them, can we? Wow. Where do all these guys come from? These are so great because these are... <laughs> I can get to some of them. These are all fortified destruction potions, baby. That's what... How you turn your destruction into super powerful stuff. This ding dong up here is going to fire a bunch of lightning at me when we get to him. stuff ice form. This can use cold. This guy has a problem. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Circlet Magic Nice, Hamlin's Journal. Hamlin's Journal. Ten years of ridicule, ten years of imprisonment, ten years of exile. Children threw rocks, and the women spat upon me as the men folk dragged me into Whiteman's prison. They branded me a danger to their pitiful existence, used words like madman and insane. Could a madman escape the prisons undetected? Could a lunatic establish a laboratory right under their noses? Could a psychopath create a mighty army from the common skeever? My days as an apprentice alchemist in Winterhold were no better. Those egotistical braggarts couldn't compete with my abilities. Well. Seems a Mr. Nut job here. Alright. Three thieves, we've already read it. Because of Unread Bucks Glow, we know we've already had another awesome mod. Apply the poison to the nest. Completed. Poison the nest. Alright, what else do I have to do? Anything? Damp experience. Poison the haunting brew vat. We have to go through here to do that. Let's 
go in here and do that. This is always... Oh, it's raining outside. It's always a nice and easy quest. To do. And return to our man. Let's do it. Oh, it cannot be locked. It requires a key to open, and he didn't give it to me. And now I have to go all the way back through here. Games that do that right there, where most doors can be picked, but then there's these special quest-only ones that cannot be picked and must have a key. That, that kind of thing always kind of cracks me up. Oh, look at all you dead skeevers. I wonder if I can get any more of these mushrooms. Oh, was, yeah, see there was one right there that we're missing. That thing is... Fortified destruction, baby. Love it. I love it. This is this is well, I'll talk about it when I start running to my next location, but this is the this is one of the cool things about the game to me. Is the progression on legendary because it just feels so rewarding when you finally get to this point where you start to get this powerful. I can't wait to see Sabjorn's. Was sword. something we discussed unclear? Job's finished, my man. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. Oh. I suppose you can wait around if you must. I'm gonna. for the rest of your days. Please, I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. Yeah, it is. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. My pleasure. And you... You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. <sighs> now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. Oh. Farewell, Samuel. Bye-bye. That's what you get for not paying me all of it up front, buddy. <laughs> I don't think that could have gone any better. All right. Anything I, else you need before you head back to Rifton? I need to get a look at Sabjorn's books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. All right, what are you going to do with this place? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. 
You're my man. Remember to put in a good word with Raven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put in a good word with Raven. How do I get upstairs? I think I have to go this way. The books. We have to get a good look at the books. Of course. The game wants to make you run around as much as possible, which is funny. Promissory note. Right. Ready to go. Thieves Guild stuff. My friends, see you later. I can't believe that worked. Can't believe it worked, then why did you even try it? Must be past fire. It's six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we're gonna take a little hit here on it. Damn person. Okay, let's look at this schedule. Journal. Dampen spirits. Return to Maven Blackfire. That's fine. Uh, Bloodstone Chalice. We gotta go back over there. And speak to Enther. I don't want to do that. Lights out. Travel to Broken Hour Grotto. That's always fun. Oh yeah, deliver the message to the Jarl of White Run. Hmm. Let's do that while we're here. And then we can go to Redoran's Retreat. Actually, let's just go to Redoran's Retreat first. That'll be the easiest thing to do. And then we can go back and talk to the companions and talk to the... guy all in one shot. Normally when I'm dual enchanting boots, I would put carry weight, add to the carry weight on my boots in addition to the, uh, the other one I made. What did I put on those? Battle Mage's boots. These are two-handed attacks and then stamina regeneration is 40% faster. I would have just put carry weight on it, but being a vampire and losing my stamina during the day, I felt like it was a much smarter decision to give myself some of the stamina regeneration. there was an easy way to tell what stage of vampirism I'm in. I suppose there is. I just need to let it advance. I haven't, I haven't done any research to figure out how fast it's going to advance. It's been forever and an age since I played the vanilla version of Skyrim's Vampires. Because way back when I was playing what most people refer to now as the legendary edition of the game, the old 32-bit version is what I like to call it. Um, when I played the 32-bit version, I just uh, I used better vampires. And then when I swapped over to SE Special Edition, I used better vampires again. And this is my first time playing with an ENV, and that's where some of this troubling stuff has happened. All I really care about having with the vampire is some of the some of the resists and the passive resists and boosts to spells and things like that, but mostly I just care about the night vision. Because the night vision is cool. Alright, let's do this. Retreats. He wasn't really, was he? Or she? What's she got on her? Poison of Cure Disease. I'll take that. Silver hand getting rocked. It's 
like he's wearing a maybe that ball in the plate. What do you have on him? Oh yeah, he's got some more of the Bosmer stuff. Bosmer reinforced boots. Look nice. Alright. You get blister warpers. Cool. This is good stuff here. Let's see. Doink. Emulet of Kinnereth. Don't care about the trench knight. Oh. This is all. Wow. Silver hand stratagem. To AL, let's see. I love Redoran's retreat. It's nice. It's easy. Lichtenstein! And if you don't know that movie reference, I'm sorry for you. I just feel bad. Potions, baby. Suppose I should grab as much of this white cap as I can. Doink. Your vampire blood boilers in the center. Alright. We're out of here. Let's go back. Let's get these giants while we're on our way. Now that we're almost all powerful. Because I still have to improve my alchemy. How far off is my alchemy? Let's find out. Two hand is making jump there. Alchemy is 84, and I haven't even put any perk points into it yet. Potion of Destruction. And if you're wondering why I'm just not running up there and whacking him with my all-powerful sword, it's precisely because of that. I'm trying to increase my destruction. And it just takes a little bit. Look at you guys. Giant's toe. That is the only thing I care about there. Giant's toe. Alright, and what do they have in there? Little box. Ooh, a black dragon ninjato for 800. I'm taking that. Steel gauntlets have made your sure grip. Alright. Just things to sell. To the Khajiit, probably, if they're still here. We're gonna find out. I like this. We can knock some... Knock some quests out. Anyway, one of the things I was gonna say earlier was... To me, this is just the, one of the most rewarding parts of playing Skyrim, especially on Legendary difficulties. That slow progression curve, and your character just gradually gets more and more powerful until you reach right now, where you can duel and chant stuff. And then it's like, oh, oh, now we're really powerful. Not the Khajiit left. Hey, here comes our guy. 
I've been looking for you. Okay. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Oh, when he says when he does that, it's usually something for holidays. I gotta find the flyer. Butcher journal, courier letter. Respectable investor. That's an old one, though. I'd already read that one. It's gotta be something I haven't read before. Mysterious note. We know we already did that a long time ago. 13th of Frostfall. So this is awesome. Yes, okay, so this is gonna be 13th of Frostfall. Let's. Because today is the 10th of Frostfall. I love this. This is. You, the stars represent locations. We wanna be near one of these because it's just fun. Um. Let's see, where is, where is the nearest one? There's one up by Dawnstar. There's one down near the rift. Okay, so the book is, oh, where is our book? Not the Red of Ceiling. Condor Familiar, oh, I didn't know that. Learned Flaming Familiar, wow. Do I have one of the books? Museum pamphlet? No. Harvest in? No. It's probably in my house. Let's go get it in my house. Anyway, I want to show you guys what this holiday is because it's really fun and the first time I ever experienced it, it was completely random. I didn't even pay attention to the note. I ran across one out in Dawnstar. This 13th of Frostfall thing. It was so cool just to see it. Because you get so used to playing the vanilla game, and then when you see something different, you're like, Whoa, wait a minute. Let's find the book. Where is the book? Okay. It's on the shelf somewhere. Notes on Dim Hollow Crypt. Last scammer to buy the back of it. Area more, Surf to Thieves. Legend of Crate Layouts. Festivals of Skyrim. This one. Quick list, detailed list, Heart's Day, Jester's Day, First Planting, Mid-Year Celebration, Harvest End, nope, nope. Witches Festival, 13th Frostwall, top right. When the forces of sorcery and religion clash, demonologists, conjurers, lamias, warlocks, and thought witches meet in the wilderness outside of the city, and the creatures created or summoned there may plague Tamriel for eons. Most wise men choose not to wander this night. Ah, it's just... It's fun. It's neat. It's Lichtenstein! Alright. Um, I'm gonna do something here real quick while we're still here. We need to do this. Crocets. Because... What's the necklace about? I not doing any... I need more potions. So let's go in here and do fortify health, giant's toe, and wheat. These are, watch this go up. Boink, 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 boink. This is fantastic. And then, uh, oh yeah, how many paralysis potions can you do? Three more? Only because those are so fantastic. Slow. But what I really want is Fortify Destruction. Glowing Mushroom. Glow Dust. And then, let's see. Fortify Carry Weight? We have some of these? Nice. Carry Capacity is increasing. In case we, in case we get in a jam there. Fortify Conjuration. Aggrave Infectors. Nice. Frost salts. These are, um, okay, what do I have? Resist frost, which is what? Frost Miriam. Frost Miriam and frost salts should work. Yes, that's what I like to see. Okay, and I'll need some more of these. Resist. Resist shock. This and a pine thrush egg, and this and a blue dart wing, and then resist fire. 
Uh, regenerate health would be good. Let's make some of these. Um, Luna Mothwing and Andamira's Rod. Oh, no. I want to do that. Resist fire. This is what I want to make. Dragon's Tongue and Bone Meal. Why I mean it and Bone Meal. Okay. And in that case, we're going to go back up to Battle Mage, 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 and we're going to do the, yes, I got the right ring on. And notice the uh, the black thing that was happening on my, on my sleeves the earlier episode on my skin, gone. So that's just another, the only mod I removed was Better Vampires. Oh. So, uh, well, that's not true. I removed one of the little mod that had to do with that. ENB night eye fix, so it could have been that, but let's see. But at any rate, I'm just getting the feeling that removing better vampires altogether was probably a really wise decision. Um, there are like four other different vampire mod out there, and I was looking them over. Uh, today I wanted to see for you around here. what was gonna I don't think look anyone's good. caught on to our little campaign oh, she's yet. so pretty have you been bringing the battle to the silver hand friend I got the plans perfect hopefully this will let us know more about their movement I think we've got them on the run what's the next target I've been hearing rumors of silver hand activity a group of them is holed up in Hjalmarch. run fast my friend that I can do but not before we go talk to the uh, king, or not, the Jarl. The Jarl. They say Ulfric Stormblood murdered my king. Ulfric, so see, you know, the game is fun to me again because I'm not dealing with all that better vampire stuff. I really did love that mod too. I remember absolutely adoring that mod the last time I played with it, but it's it's like too complicated now, and it did, just didn't work. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I have an important message from General Tullius. No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it. Ulfric plans to attack Whiterun. The general wants to lend legion troops. I see. Give the papers to my steward. I was given strict instructions. In the Jarl's eyes only. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I can't read. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it. <laughs> Good. These are interesting reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack White Run, as an old thing, precaution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I am of a mind with It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man, or to declare his intentions. He'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True, he's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own name? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the white gold coming forward? This again? That was different. 
Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. We had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it. This isn't about gold. It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. You there. I have a message for you to deliver to our friend, the esteemed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. Should I say anything to him? Men who understand one another need not waste words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Ulfric will know my meaning. Understood. Good. Good. Proventus, bring me my pen. And fear not. I'm, I'm going to see if he has any. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Just a vampire. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. I just want to look at your books, buddy. What do you got? Bound sword. Too bad it wasn't a bound great sword. Fear. Hmm. Creatures and people flee from combat. Fireball, that's what I'm looking for. Some more destruction spells. Okay. Fury, creatures attack anything nearby for 30 seconds. Ice spike, ice storm. Lightning cloak, I'll take that. Muffle, I'll take that. Printed vision, I already have. Soothe, stone flesh. Vapor blast. Oh, yeah, that's a fun spell to have. What is. Am I looking for lightning? Oh, I guess that's all I get. I don't get another lightning spell. Well, that's okay. Let's take a look at these spell tones. Fireball, Ice Storm, Lightning Cloak, Muffle, and Vapor Blast. Okay, so Fireball is... Let's take a look at the damage difference here. Lightning Bolt does 32 points of shock damage and half that to magic it and fireball is 42 points so you're gonna want to favorite that weapon you have and I'm gonna want to put fireball in slot three okay. you look absolutely stunning my dear let's go do our job then all right so let's see message to white run I'm gonna I gotta go in two different directions here assassinate the silver hand leader where is he at this is in Orothime, which is over by Morthal. Okay. Dampen spirits. Return to Maven Blackbyre and Riften. Speak to Enter. Lights out. Laid to rest. Talk to the Jarl of Morthal. Hey, that's his vampire thing. Um, I don't want to do that yet. This is the past. I'm still looking for these. Meet Malborn and Salted. Oh, we still have to do that whole thing too, don't we? Destroy the Dark Brotherhood. Forbidden Legend. Travel to Solstein. And Riften's Court Wizard. Collect the bounty from Fought Firebeard. Find Riordan's Drum. Where's that at? Down here. Retrieve the Blade Shards of Mavern's Razor. All out by Falkreath. Okay. We're gonna go do some stuff by Fall Creek. The Dark Brotherhood's there too. You're that one from the college. Yep, I'm from the college. Oh, I know what I need to be doing too. Transmute, baby. I could enchant myself some gear that would make <laughs> that would make that spell a lot cheaper. I spend a lot of time at the market stall, so I can learn the merchant's trade. Take a good look around. Bellathor, my man. If not, let me know. Everything's for sale, my. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I'm gonna grab anything you have, like a grand soul gem, and I'm gonna sell things to you. Like, let's see, Blood Rain, Legendary, absorb 18 points of health. Really need to get rid of that because it's heavy. It's a nice sword. 
sell it. Um, I don't need to enchant any of these things and sell them. What weighs the most? Oh yeah, the Bosmer stuff. I want to enchant this for my new companion. And since I can doubly enchant it, I'll do that for her. Necklace of Alchemy, you can have that. Necromancer's Amulet, I'm kind of saving. Smithing, still going on some major to sure group. Alright, Bellathor, that just took everything you had, didn't it? Do come All of Bellathor's money, look at you. We're gonna, we're gonna get you fixed up with a better suit than that. It's gonna have more benefits for you. Alright, let's go to... Balkri. Because Falkreath will be fun, won't it? Falkreath will be fun. I like that idea a lot, actually. Check the carriage. Carriage over to Falkreath and see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, folks, this is where I'm going to stop the game. As always, thanks for watching. If you guys like the channel and you haven't subscribed to it yet, please do. And if you have a question or comment, just drop it down below. I love interacting with all you peoples. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we play Let's Play Skyrim Special.